You are listening to The New Man, Beyond the Macho Jerk and the New Age Wimp. Your host is men's coach, Trip Lanier. Do you have a clear sense of purpose? What is your mission? And do you know what you were put on this earth to do? I know I'm not the only guy who's ever struggled with these questions, so today I'm sharing a conversation I recently had with a coaching client about purpose, mission, and having a clear sense of what we're here to do with our lives. I look at the progress that I've made so far. This is, this is unbelievable. And taking care of all this and investing and traveling and meeting people and like becoming someone in, in a way that it's not becoming someone who's just good in like business. It's someone that's reliable, someone that people can count on, someone that doesn't do bullshit. Mm. I, I, I'm translating all this into business, yeah. into like living my life. And this, I think it's the, the biggest gain. I'm, I'm actually looking at, at this end of the year. I'm looking at it as a reaping time. Because hmm. I, I, I ran so much during the year. Trying so much things. Traveling and traveling and traveling and meeting people and losing sleeps after negotiations. I'm taking it a, a little bit easy right now. And I, hmm. I feel I need it. Good. I feel I need to to step uh, step my foot out of the the accelerator for a while. And good, good. It helps me to hear that, right? When we go, we have to, we do have seasons. We do have. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm going into the same thing, and so it is just giving ourselves permission to slow down and receive, to recover. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it is fucking hard to to really chill. It's it's not that that I'm in vacation or like you know, I, I'm not. This, I'll be working there a bit. But at the same time, I'm just taking my my feet out of the the accelerator a little bit so that I can really get the 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 bigger picture a little bit more. I downloaded a book. I, you're familiar with John Gray, right? His book is called Conscious Men. Uh huh. And I, I was started reading it yesterday, and the first chapter is a man knows. His purpose in life. <laughs> Sounds <I'm> screwed. <laughs> really? I know. I have so many purposes. It's not just one. It's hard to to really get into. Okay, a, a he he knows where he's going. I'm any every, every time I change my 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 purpose, and I okay, I, I either iterate. Okay, that might might be the iterate. But it, it it is good to hear this because okay, am I really following my purpose? Let's, is my purpose okay? I, I, you know, I, I've I've run into so many guys that are mind fucked by this idea. Do you want to? Are you open yes, to you open please. to considering a, a different way of looking at it? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. So purpose. Let's let's because uh, purpose gets thrown around a lot, and even David Data, I'm sure it's been a while since I've studied him. But there's like purpose, and then there's mission. Uh huh. Okay. When I hear somebody say, "I want, I need to know my purpose in life," or my purpose is helping teenagers do whatever, that's to me that's a mission. That's something mm-hmm. that we may work on for three years, five years, three months, or whatever. But it's a, it's like a. It, there's a thing like we, we we're going to start this thing and we're going to end this thing. Hmm. Okay. There's an end. There's an end date. There's a. Well, it doesn't have to be, but it, it's just like this is what I'm doing. I'm working like for a long time. It was working with certain types of men for me. Now it's shifting into something else, and just the understanding that missions change. Hmm. Some people like Mother Teresa may have like feed the needy, feed the whatever but you know maybe it started out with we're going to feed the people on this block and then it was going to feed the part of, feed the people in this part of the city and then it just turns into like we're going to feed fucking everybody right mm-hmm. but the mission the mission is changing now i believe the purpose 
part of that is much deeper. The purpose part of that is what are we here to experience as spiritual beings? In other words, and this is my philosophy, okay? So, I, you know, you take it however you want. But mm-hmm. when you and I talk about love, and not just love between a man and a woman romantically, but like love like I'm here to love powerfully. Don Miguel Ruiz love, you know, mm-hmm. Marianne Williamson love, like on that spiritual level. To me, that's the that's that's where we start to bring the purpose because when we allow ourselves to love ourselves and others fully, that's where we experience joy. That's where we experience great connection. That's where we experience this sense of oneness. Mm -hmm. To me, that is the purpose. So you can go and try and feed a bunch of people. You can go and try and, you know, solve some problem here or there and make a bunch of money or run for office or whatever. But I would argue that if it's not serving your greater purpose, which is to live a life as a, as a whole, loving, spiritual being, then it's out of integrity. Hmm. Why would we do something that would take us out of our relationship with love? Yeah. It tells me that we don't trust love. It tells me that we don't trust this bigger, higher version of ourselves. It tells me that whatever the mission is... <clears throat> is something that's driven more from ego or from fear or from obligation. It's a small self. This is what I should do. This is what I should do to be loved. This is what I should should do to be accepted. This is what I should do to prove myself. Yeah, or even to say that I have a purpose. Like, what kind of purpose would it be, like, to say that my purpose is to love? Like, right. So I like to think that, okay, I, I am here for a larger purpose. I'm here to live and express myself fully and wholly. And when I do that, I'm loving a certain way. I'm creating a certain way. I'm creating from love instead of trying to get something from others. Like to me, that is, that's, that's the purpose. No matter what I'm doing, how I create my family, how I create my livelihood, It's all about aligning with that loving purpose, that loving sense, because that's where I feel most whole. That's where I feel Mm -hmm. aligned and one. Okay? That's my choice. Mm -hmm. So then I can adopt missions that come along that empower me to have that experience. Hmm. I like the concept of missions. (laughs) Right? So the mission may come along Mm -hmm. that... I would have a podcast to serve at a certain level. I would coach certain people. I would coach these guys versus that guy, right? I Mm -hmm. would write a book or I would do this and that. But it's all about what's going to help me express myself in alignment with these values. So that I, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm feel, I may feel challenged. I may feel scared. I may feel vulnerable or whatever, but it's ultimately that that's where I feel most whole. I have that greater sense of inner peace. It might be stressful. Mm -hmm. It might be easier to just go and play a role and do what I'm told. But I'll have that sense of inner peace. This is what I'm here on this planet to do. So missions change. And they always will. Throughout your life, you're going to have many missions. You may be embarking on several missions at once. (laughs) Yeah. But the purpose is always the same. It's always an expression of, and to use the term love, it's always an expression of joy. It's always an expression of deep concern, deep care, oneness, wholeness. If you're you're going, like, if you're consciously going into a mission. Yeah, well, that can be where I'm unconscious, right? I can can take on a mission from a place of, I need to prove I'm a man. Mm -hmm. I need to prove that I'm a man. Oh, so I'll go do this triathlon or i'll grow a beard or i'll whatever like it it doesn't it's it's it doesn't matter what the thing is it's where it's coming from the beard helps the beard beard helps (laughs) (laughs) yeah whatever has you feel most aligned right but that's the thing is it can come from that place of fear Hmm. i better have this or else where you where i've experienced more of you stepping into your wholeness is when you've allowed yourself to go into the places where and we always kind of know that 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 you're moving in that direction because you it comes up in some version of what will they think of me yeah what will they think of me if i really step into my love of personal development what will they think of me if i make a video 
and put it out there to help other people. Like that's where we know your edge is. Mm-hmm. That's where we know there's a part of you that's saying, hey, I want to do this. This is what I'm here to share. This is what I'm here to give. This is what has me feel most alive. This is what has me feel most whole, what has me feel most aligned. And oh shit, that may have me look weird. That may have me look different. Yeah. As I'm even talking about this, I'm aware that we're recording it. And I'm like, what if I were to put this up as a podcast? And there's a part of me that's like, whoa, I'm safe to talk about this with but would I put this up for the, uh, my other listeners? Mm -hmm. Scary. It is. It is. This, this, I, I really like the concept of missions because uh, I think of it like a video game and the missions make so much sense. Right. Your, right. your objective is to evolve in the video mm. game and go and face bigger and better monsters. Uh -huh. And you have missions. But even if you think about what the game is, the game's purpose is to have fun. To be challenged and to have yeah, fun, yeah, right? Like that, and so you have to look at it as like, am I still having fun? <laughs> am I yeah. still enjoying this game? There might be times where I'm challenged and really frustrated, but that's part of the game. That's part of what has me really enjoy the game when I overcome those challenges. When you and I talk, I'm holding this perspective with you, right? Like I'm holding there's a larger perspective of who are you really? Who are you when you're not trying to please these people? And it doesn't mean you'll care about them, but it's that you're, you're not just playing the role of I do whatever is expected of me, right? Mm -hmm. Who like am I really? So that's where it is. Like, what is it that you really love? What is it that you really care about? It's drawing that out. And then from that place, it's creating missions. It's creating those things where you're expressing that in the world. But it's just helping you find that where can you be more aligned? And you do lots of different things. You have lots of different interests. And the only place that I would be concerned about is if they were out of alignment with who you truly were. If, if they were somehow diminishing mm -hmm. your ability to feel more whole and more free and more loving in the world. And the, as, as you're seeing this, I have a smile in my face. So I, I can see like I'm some, some way like... Somehow in the right way. <laughs> Good. Wow, I can, I can appreciate this. If these interviews are helping you, then please visit The New Man on iTunes and leave us a positive review so others can discover the show more easily. Thanks for listening.